Are planning for an L1 visa interview with your dependent? Then this video is exactly what you need. Today's video is going to be a real visa interview experience. And I have with me two people, Anuj and Rohani, the husband-wife duo, who are going to share their L1 and L2 visa experience. And this video is going to talk about the entire process, how they planned their entire visa journey, what were the questions that were asked to them, and a little bit about their life in the US. So keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. There is an entire playlist for LOL visas. So make sure that you subscribe, press the bell icon and check out these videos. Before we start, I would also like to tell you that we have a free PDF download. And this PDF is a question bank of all the questions that have been asked over the last couple of months for L1 visas. A lot of people have used it, found it extremely useful, so do grab a copy of it. The link for this PDF is in the description box below. Coming back to today's video. So today's video is going to be a real visa experience video. And I have with me Anuj and Rohani. Anuj went to US on an L1A visa and his wife Rohani joined him on an L2. And in this video, they are sharing their entire visa journey. So Anuj is going to tell us about the entire process, how exactly it started, how much time it took for the petition to get approved, for him to get the visa slot. Then he talks about his visa experience, how he prepared for the same, what were the questions asked, and he's also sharing with us some extra tips, tricks, and as a bonus, also telling us about life in US and what the path ahead looks like. In addition to all of this, his wife Rohani is going to join us and talk about L2 visa experience. I feel that this is a part of the visa experience which is often overlooked. But if you are applying as an L2, you too need to prepare, you know, to a certain extent and keep your profile and how exactly you're going to present that to the visa officer in mind. So all of this is being covered in this visa experience. Let's jump right into it. So hi guys, today I have with me Anuj and his wife who will join us shortly. So they are in New York currently on L1 and L2 visa and he's here to share his entire experience right from preparation uh, to what actually happened in the interview and also have some special guidelines and tips for all of you who are going to be appearing for your interview soon. So Anuj, what's up? How are you? Hey Shachi, hi. Nice to see How's you. How's New long York? Time. Yeah, long time. New York is good. We're just dealing with a bit of cold. The winters are really long and harsh. Extended over, winters. Over yeah. Extended winters. Yeah. For especially for people uh, in Bangalore, I'm sure you would not, not know what winters are. I know. But they, they <laughs> really so yeah, like spoiled with good weather. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, starting with your background. So, you uh, basically worked in India for some years and then moved on an intra company transfer, right? For a financial institution. That's right. So, um, how was the entire process like how long did you know right from uh, the fact that uh, you know you came to know that there is this opportunity available to finally getting to the visa interview itself so how much time and effort did this process take so let's like start with that yeah so uh, to start with i i applied for l1a visa so within l1 there are two categories l1a and l1b so l1a is for managerial experience if you had a managerial experience in the company that is transferring you abroad and then you are going to a managerial role in the in the foreign country also then when that's when when you apply for l1a visa so mine was uh, l1a uh, and the entire process i think it took around five to six months starting from when i was being communicated by the lawyers that uh, the process will start and i was assigned a lawyer till the time uh, i actually fl uh, flew mm -hmm. uh, so the process so uh, in L1A, mostly the company assigns a lawyer, which is supposed to take care of the documentation and process and, and file the petition with the USCIS. Right. So that's started. And preparing the petition, I would say that takes a long time because there are a number of questions which are being asked right. about your job description, what do you do about uh, your uh, personal information, etc. So that takes time. Uh, and then after that is done, you you file for one D with DS one hundred and sixty, and then you pay the fees. You take an appointment, uh, and uh, between the the petition filing and the DS one uh, the, the, the interview point, yeah. getting the appointment, uh, most likely the petition will get approved because the lawyers filed for premium processing. As it right, does not take that much time. Mm -hmm. So then you have to really prepare for the interview because that is when 
you don't know like what they are going to ask okay um, so this process took approximately 5 to 6 months 5 to 6 months getting till the visa interview right uh, so getting till the visa interview uh, and getting the passport back so from from the starting till okay. that time it took 6 months and maybe it, it's taking slightly more during these times maybe it was shorter or like the things will improve and the time will reduce actually correct when yes. things become more normal okay so uh, coming to the interview like uh, the process is slightly different for blanket uh, applications and for cases like you so how much preparation was done from the company's side and how much effort did you actually put in to sort of do your research and you know figure out that okay this is how i have to be ready for it so so companies normally they have a very set documentation or the questions they ask for and i don't know but lawyers do not actually help you with the interview they just tell you what is the visa type and they ask for the documents then you actually have to go online talk to people who have the similar kind of experiences to understand what are the questions which should be asked so for example in l1a the lawyers never mention that they would be probing around your managerial experience so in the interview they want to understand if you're actually manager or if you're just a individual contributor a specialist who will do and do that kind of a job so mm-hmm. the lawyers will not or like in my case the lawyers did not mention that okay so, so the onus was on you to the onus was on me to understand what kind of questions uh, they they might ask what kind of things they want to uncover okay so uh, so you prepared you had like an idea of what to do for the interview and you also applied with your wife so there's a lot of confusion which people face which i get a lot of questions that should be like apply for l1 get our visa and then uh, the dependent should go or both go together like in my opinion there's no difference i think uh, l1 and l2 if they go together it's like a much more sorted process but you both applied together right like you went in like one single interview so what is your opinion on this that said i think applying together is definitely better because if l1 get if l1 gets approved most likely l2 will also get approved and yeah. it also reduces the time because when you file for l2 you again have to do very similar documentation provide your wife's documentation again so uh, filing together definitely reduces the time and i don't know what's the impact on the decision but most likely it will only benefit right, right? Okay. there's no there's no harm in applying together right so your interview was in delhi right delhi consulate mine was in delhi it was an individual process so it was in delhi. delhi okay so what was the actual interview like right uh, what did you observe and what questions were asked to you so uh, they asked a lot about what do i do uh, what will i be doing and okay. in most of the answers i mentioned that i manage or i get things done or i uh, uh, i manage these set of people who do this and that and etc so a few questions were about uh, what do i do and what i'll be doing uh, okay then there were questions about my experience how long have i been with the company uh, why do you think is the right role for you so they also want to understand that that it is a critical position or not no. if it's not critical then they may say that there is no right there's no need for there's no need for you right so they also <clears> try <throat> to understand critical is the position so i would say that uh, some thought also went in that direction uh, okay and then uh, mostly about my wife so my wife was also there for the interview and they asked her a few uh, questions about uh, actually i have uh, her here with me so why does she, did she answer that <laughs> so what was asked yeah. to you as you can see i mean i didn't uh, participated in any documentation <laughs> for l1 yeah, but right. definitely during the interview they wanted to know um if i plan to work in the us um and i did say that yeah i did plan to work in the us i would apply for a work authorization after i got there um they asked me what i was doing that time in india like where i was working and you know the move and everything and i think finally they ended by asking us how many years we'd been married and like it it become quite casual I think to by that then. point. Okay. Yeah, by then. Huh. You're like how many years have you been married and uh, how many people came to your wedding? Okay. And that was it. <laughs> and I think part of I think part of it was I really confidently answered that it was 380 and he was like, "Okay." Wow. I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically mentioned that you're working in India and you plan to continue to work in the US. Yeah. Right? Okay. Because this is also a point that scares a lot of people, right? Though on L two, I mean, it's easier, right, to get work authorization, yeah. and that's the whole point of 
uh, this but still people are scared that if we show that even the dependent will work you know it might uh, show a lesser intent to come back so uh, no, did so you they, like ever have any such thoughts or so i would say there are different school of thoughts around this because okay. people we spoke with some said that don't mention a friend that i want to go there and work correct so mention exactly. that yeah right now you want to apply for the uh, visa so that there's a possibility of uh, work in you'll the go fi- you'll go figure out what you do yes so right now we are not thought exactly how we want to go about it but once we yeah. get it then yeah. there there are options for us so then we can think about if you want to work in the future so i but, would say yeah i think my my whole uh, and even for the both of us our whole perspective was we are not going to lie if i and i would strongly suggest do not lie on your visa yes. application you can the way you describe things is is obviously very very important but i think if you're lying or manipulating some facts it it sort of comes across and yeah. so we wanted to upfront say yes i plan to work and it might not be the best strategy or the best um, you know even approach for someone people might want to take some time off and so say what it is like mm-hmm. right okay so really depends on the case to case and individual and how comfortable you feel essentially there yeah. with what you're saying okay fine thanks rohani <laughs> yeah. so coming back to your interview the one thing which i want to understand like the two questions that you mentioned right in the beginning that's essentially the crux of it that's what are you doing true. in india and what what will you do in us and why are you required there and why in some required? cases recently they've even started asking what will happen if you don't go there did you like focus on the expertise that you have built in this company over the years and say that because of this i would be the best person for this job or did you like pinpoint to some specific task or role uh, in the us so I, that was waiting which it, it, it totally depends on the role that you are going for <clears throat> so in my case what i was doing in india was slightly different than what i would be doing in the us okay. in particular as a function but obviously the core skills still remain the same Mm-hmm. so i tried to link the skills that i acquired in india plus my people leadership experience and how could it help the role in the us but okay. if you think about it the, the question you asked right uh, what will happen if you don't go there versus how critical are you for the role yeah these are these are very very similar questions in themselves so you have to justify uh, how does the skills required for the role that you're going for is very closely tied up with the the skills that you have and i don't know if they further want to ask do they don't have any any such people in the us for that so that could be something which is they do ask they do yes why you why not someone in the us office right uh, so these are the type of questions that we are seeing recently, like of late a what is your expertise what's your specialization why you and what will happen if you don't get it so very closely like but like different questions so hmm. uh like you i think like you mentioned showing your expertise the special skill plus depending on which visa category uh, like your managerial experience mm-hmm. in your case was important for someone with l1b maybe the technical uh, exactly. you know uh, expertise they build that might have more value okay but one has to be really clear about these two three points essentially they, they have to think about very carefully how do you word your answer and how what kind of uh, words you uh, use words you use what kind of job description you are describe you are describing one has to be really careful about, about all these okay have to be also very very calm when the person mm-hmm. is talking to you because he is interviewing you but he is just talking to you right asking for yes. uh, yeah. what kind of stuff you will do so yeah. most likely you will know the answer even if you are not prepared mm-hmm. but the the reason that you should be prepared is it just helps you with the answer it just make sure that you are calm and composed while answering the question you don't actually screw up you don't say something yeah. that you don't yeah. which you never it's, so just it's basically an well. interaction so uh, it should be like a calm friendly interaction hmm. for which you have to know that okay this is what i need to say in this one so so make sure that you don't uh, uh, you, you just use the right words that's the advice i give okay great and one last thing uh, what is the path ahead like a lot of people are also really interested to know that okay once you are there on l1 right what uh, for somebody who wants to like you know sort of uh, think of us as an option in the long term so how does that path look like and how easy or difficult is that so for l1 a visa actually it's much easier compared to say l1b okay uh, and uh, it also depends from company to company so some companies the moment you come 
after mm. six months or one year, they file for the green card. Okay. And if, for example, right now, if L one A files for green card, that's EB one category, and the green card duration or the processing time is under two two years. Okay. Whereas L one B, it will be somewhere around five years. Okay. So there's a lot of difference between the green card processing time for L one A, L one B. Mm-hmm. Uh, but definitely that's an that's a good option if you uh, still want to uh, see yourself in the US for a long time because for example for H1 I don't know Very I know difficult. people who have been here yes. years they have not yeah. so so L1A L1B visa are definitely much better in in that respect okay great all right okay anush thank you so much and wishing you all the best for your stay in new york thanks achi yeah hope to see you soon mm-hmm. bye yes So I hope you found this entire visa experience useful. If you have any more questions for Anuj or for me, leave them in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi dot one. If you do want to prepare with me, feel free to book a one to one session. The link for this one to one session is in the description box below. This one to one session will help you with all aspects of your visa interview, right from reviewing your DS one sixty form, answer structuring based on your profile, and of course, giving you some practice through some mock sessions. So all of this is covered. Check the link in the description box for the same. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to get your free PDF. And there are a couple more useful videos planned for the L1 visas. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off for now. Bye.